In this video, we will revise the chapter 1 and 2, which is required for your first unit test. And I think some of school already have started the first unit test, and some schools are going to start from next week. So, here are the quick revision of chapter 1 and 4. I am here covering only the important topics. So, don't say that uh, why I didn't say that this is this question will not come because. If I'm going to cover everything, the video will be longer. I want to make the video short. So I'm covering only the important parts through which uh, you can have basic idea what type of questions might come in your first unit test. First, we'll come to chapter one, introduction to computer network. This chapter is landy one. Here, everything is learning one. You have to learn. You have to buy hard. Then only you can write down in exam there is nothing to understand just you have to learn so this type of question might come first what is computer network you can write up when we connect two or more computer for sharing resources and information then we call it as a network then you also need uh, to learn the definition and functions of pan lan man van pan is the smallest type of network after that comes lan land covering a building man it's covered a city and when it covered a whole world an example pan one when you connect your laptop or computer with your mobile phone this is pan land one when we connect the computers in a building for example school computer lab and man one example we can say cable tv and when example the best example will be internet and also the difference between pan, lan, man, and when. It's already given in your book. You can you can see one table in chapter one, page number four. From there you see the differences. Here one topic is given that uh, transfer rate. So here remember transfer rate of pan is always high and when is always slowest one. And conjunction means traffic means uh, in pan there will be no conjunction when there will be highest conjunction and uh, unique identifiers your spelling is wrong unique identifiers host name why what is the use of host name it is used to display the name of the computer how can we change the host name in windows 10 we can use rename pc options how can we change in linux we can use host name file inside etc folder so this part you can learn and for IP address what is IP address it is a numeric address that is used to uniquely identify the computer when it is connected to network and MAC address it is media access control given by the hardware manufacturer when the devices are built and the proper definition is given in book that one you can write and also you have to see uh, this trees means from this tree host name IP address and MAC address we can use only MAC address as unique identifier we cannot use host name and IP why because host, na host name can be changed by the user and even IP address can be changed by the user for that reason we cannot use them IPv4 and IPv6 their uses and land size that you will learn IPv4 the size of IPv4 is 32 bit and if we convert into so it will be 32 divide 8 it will be 4 bytes and ipv6 it is 128 bits and if we want to convert it into byte we will convert 128 by 8 i think it is 16 and also the formation of ipv4 is important there you will have to remember we have to write the number in four groups separated by full stop and the number should not be more than 255 and also it cannot be a negative number also you have to see the function of DHCP server DHCP means dynamic host uh, <coughs> control port dynamic host configuration protocol it is used to assign IP addresses dynamically to the computer normally what happens when we have one or two computer it's okay we can give the IP address manually but when we have more number of computers like hundred or thousands at that moment just uh, assigning IP address one by one it will be quite difficult for that reason we have this server DHCP which can 
uniquely identify uh, uniquely uh, assign IP address to the computer who are connected to the network after that comes MAC address what is MAC address MAC address we also called it as a media access control address it is a unique identifier assigned to the network interface controller means it assigned to the NIC part of a device Earlier computer we have to buy NIC separately but uh, now most of the devices come with inbuilt NIC so when the hardware is made at the time only NIC is provided to them. For that reason it is called as burn in address. Remember it and uh, I make addresses form by 12 digit hexadecimal numbers. 12 hexadecimal numbers and separated by 2 2 numbers in each group and the number are separated sometime by hyphen or sometime by nothing that you have to remember and uh, land of MAC address it will be 48 48 bits or 6 bytes and if ask land of OUI then it will be 24 bits or 3 bytes and who provide MAC address it is hardware manufacturer and who assigned hardware OUI to the hardware manufacturer it will be I triple and formation of MAC address means how MAC address form it's already in book you can see it from there like there are 12 hexadecimal digits separated by hyphen colon or sometimes without separator MAC address are assigned by hardware manufacturers and that cannot be changed this one you have to remember we got three identifiers IP address host address and MAC address from their IP and host address can be changed host name can be changed but MAC address cannot be changed it is permanent and after that NIC what is NIC NIC it is the full form is network interface card it is a hardware component used to connect computer to a network different type of NIC it is internal NIC external NIC the internal NIC is uh, installed inside the CPU on a particular slot on the motherboard and external C uh, NIC it is connected to the computer through USB port that you have to remember after that will come to hub and switch both their definition you have to learn both uh, their functions are similar they are doing same thing to connect the computer to a network sometimes they also work as a repeater now what is repeater might come what happens when the signal travel in a long distance uh, the speed of the signal becomes slower so to boost the speed of the signal we can use hub or switch as repeater means they will amplify the speed of the signals and difference between hub and switch I have already given in a video nicely you can go through that video and after that router there also you will see what is router functions of a router why do we use it this part you will see and access point it create a wireless network what is SSID the name of the wireless network this is known as SSID and here comes some anonymous what is anonymous or how you can protect your SSID that one we can hide our SSID name at that moment what happened the user will have to write the name of the Wi-Fi address manually on cell but if we make it public anyone can see our SSID name so this already given in nice link book you can read that and also protocol use of TCP use of IP, POP, SMTP, HTTP, HTTPS and here this question is important name two protocol that, that is responsible that are responsible for sending or receiving emails it will be POP and SMTP and difference between HTTP and HTTPS HTTP send the information hypertext information in a plain format and HTTPS they transfer the hypertext information in an encrypted format now again question might come what is encryption when we convert the data into a code form so that unauthorized user cannot read it is called as encryption and decryption the process of converting encrypted data into a readable format is known as decryption also you see the FTP what is FTP 
and some FTP client name they are like a smart FTP then core FTP filezilla etc and different type of FTP used to transfer file over the cloud these are SFTP, FTP, S something are there like that uh, that you can learn then what is a cloud storage cloud storage will be it is a com remote computer where we can store our files means in cloud storage the computer or the hard disk will physically not present in our home it will present somewhere else that is called as remote location so you can write cloud storage as a uh, it is a remote computer where we can store and retrieve our files and use of these commands you can see ping ip config host name arp then diagram of man and when this also you can practice and full forms ssid make nic wi-fi dhcp ieee pop smtp tcp arp oui lan man when this you can see now comes now let's come to chapter 4 introduction to loop this chapter is very slow no sorry this chapter is very short here there are very few questions this type of questions might come what is a loop loop it is a repetition when we repeat same statement for specific number of time it is called as loop different type of loop while do while and for loop difference between while and do while while loop it is entry control do while it is exit control while loop check the condition at beginning do while check the condition at end while loop when the condition falls it cannot execute do while even the condition is fall it can execute at least once so this type of definition you can write i think i have already explained nicely this while and do while you can go through that video then parts of a for loop there are three parts of a for loop initialization then condition then update expression so this you will learn also you see the their uses like initialization we initialize the value of the variable or index and condition here we write the condition or the after that the last expression is update expression there we update the counter variable so this you can see from book and write then syntax is also very important it sometimes comes for one mark sometimes comes for two mark syntax of while loop do while and for loop while loop syntax you will write uh, just while inside bracket condition and then after that curly bracket insert inside the curly bracket you will write statements and do while in place of while you will write do and the while part you will write after the brackets so for loop also it's given in book only you can see from there after that uh, what happened when the condition of while loop is false this answer will write when the condition of while loop is false the control of the loop will come out all when the condition of the while loop is false it will exit from the loop you can write like this way and when the condition of do while loop is false it will execute for one time and it will exit from the loop and for loop also it's same as while loop when the condition is false it will exit from the loop so this way you can write then what is loop body the statement that we write inside a loop it is called loop body i think you got this in class 9 uses of while do while and for loop their uses and definitions we will learn and use of semicolon for for loop semicolon in a for loop is used to separate the statements like we write three statement inside the for loop update uh, initialization update expression test condition so to separate them we use for loop or oh, sorry semicolon so theory questions only this type of questions will be there and for programming questions you can practice these questions write a program to display your name 10 times you practice with all the loops like uh, for loop while loop do while loop write a program to display 10 natural numbers using loop here also you try with while loop do while loop and for loop after that write a program to find if a number is prime or not this program 
it is uh, chances 50% it might come or not because it's a bit hard after that write a program to find the summation of pattern 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square which is already in book there are three questions together after that 1 cube 2 cube these three are similar just one line will change I have already explained in explanation video you can go there and see the answer and also pattern program you see this one 1 1 1 triple one then four times one five times once by using loop or instead of one maybe x these two program will be similar just instead of one we'll write x and also maybe in this one five five four three five four three two five four three two one this one also you practice so these are the few important questions which may come in your first unit test mm -hmm.